what I'll talk in this video is about different case studies in the supply chain analytics supply chain is generating a vast amount of data and with digitization collecting supply chain data like all other data has become uh, easier and what is important is to use this data to turn into insight with increasing use of analytics in supply chain there will be reduction in the cost and it will make the processes more efficient that companies using data for uh, improving their uh, processes are having you know competitive advantage over uh, other companies there's massive data out there uh, in the supply chain industry as i have said there's easier data collection these days because of digitization however there is knowledge gap and skill gap two types of academic areas involved one is the machine learning and statistics so that's one which is traditional one right it's used in all kinds of analytics but uh, other than that there is also uh, a heavy use of operation research because in supply chain analytics there is a lot of uh, optimization problems and you need to use operation research in order to be able to solve these problems and uh, operation research is is a branch of mathematics which is used to solve uh, optimization problems now we use optimization problems even in statistics and machine learning but uh, normally these uh, algorithms are written uh, beneath uh, these libraries right in python or r or sas or matlab hence we do not get to learn uh, things in detail but there also we use operation research so that's one you know big difference between supply chain analytics and other analytics so the first case study is the demand forecasting uh, so demand forecasting is about uh, forecasting the demand of uh, goods and services be it predicting near term demand medium term demand or long term uh, demand so you can use time series models to forecast your short term demand or medium term demand forecasting long term demand is actually very tricky it's not that easy you can't just use simple time series models in order to you know predict uh, long term demand so modeling long term demand is actually uh, very very difficult and you need to use maybe sophisticated models for that but you can also uh, use multivariate regressions uh, with you know some appropriate treatment for the time component the second case study is about optimizing sourcing sourcing is very important in the supply chain area right it's about optimizing on the cost optimizing the cost or maximizing the revenue profit right so you incur a cost it's, a, it's an optimization problem where to you know you minimize the cost so what's the best way to source raw material so that uh, the cost uh, of sourcing the material will be uh, the minimum right so that's about finding the best possible combination of sources now it is actually very important especially in manufacturing industries where you know you actually source raw material from different sources and you actually see what's the best way best combination of sources then uh, scheduling of production again uh, a problem in the manufacturing industry of predicting required time for a given task in the production so if you're able to predict properly you can automate a lot of tasks right so it's about automating multiple production processes so if you have a proper time series forecasting model using uh, which you can predict the time required for a given task you can simply schedule this task and automate then statistical quality control uh, statistical quality control uh, has been there for quite some time now and uh, it's very pronounced in the manufacturing industry it's quite heavily used there but it's also now being used in all kinds of industry in banks in e-commerce companies in travel tourism all kinds of uh, industries then uh, the warehouse space allocation it's again an operation research problem an optimization problem so it's about uh, how best you can allocate resources be it space in this case given the constraints so there could be many constraints how can you best allocate your resources so it's again an optimization problem an operation research problem you, with the help of data you can solve this problem quite easily then real time routing uh, this is uh, a problem in more recent time where routing is now being made more real time uh, you might have heard about uh, real time routing in walmart in e in amazon in all kinds of uh, e-commerce uh, companies uh it's also true actually in the manufacturing industry 
so real time routing is about predicting the time but also at the time optimizing the resources so it's uh, a mix of uh, a prediction problem and an optimization problem so then about product recommendation if i bought a product from uh, amazon it will recommend similar product or, or something similar uh, to you right and it's not just in e-commerce but it's also true in in uh, automobile company in all kinds of companies right so you use historical data uh, on purchase to identify the potential repurchase or chances of customer repurchasing your product and then you send out offers and you also try to predict the best time to send out offers to your potential customers or potential repurchases that also can be very well be done uh, using uh, machine learning models then fraud detection now fraud detection is a very challenging problem in all kinds of industry and certainly in the supply chain industry so there is increasing frauds happening in supply chain uh, because of reliance on third party providers many companies actually rely on uh, smaller other third party providers for the supply chain and there are always a chances of uh, fraud happening and how can you prevent that if you can predict such events using historical data then you can uh, avoid uh, these events to happen and you can take appropriate action to prevent these uh, events so that is possible using machine learning models you can use neural networks you can use all kinds of models to predict uh, the chances of frauds if you have historical data so this is a basically low event data right so you have very less number of cases where the fraud has happened and probably many more cases where the fraud hasn't happened then other uh, among other case studies one could be out of stock detection now out of stock is a big problem in many industry where you have to have or stock otherwise you will be losing clients so you can predict the number of days before a product will be out of stock um, a classic problem in in the manufacturing industry but also many other industry including the e-commerce where uh, <coughs> many times you are product of stock so you lose uh, customers in that case and customers will move to your competitors so you can predict the number of days before which the product will be out of stock so that's a prediction problem uh, so using machine learning techniques you can do that and using historical data and you can also automate that process through models so it need not be a manual process where you actually uh, use a data scientist uh, you know doing uh, the modeling work uh, on a daily basis that's not going to be the thing it's just a model that is built and then implemented uh, which automates the process it sends out the report through your ERP applications to the managers uh, but on a periodic basis the model should also be monitored so that the performance is uh, monitored and when required the model should be redeveloped then workload optimization um, again a classic problem in the manufacturing industry uh, but also nowadays in other industry as well uh, so it's an optimization problem with the constraint on resources time and budget so how do you ensure that the productivity is maximized uh, the production is maximized uh, but at the same time within the given resources time and budget so it's an optimization problem you can use operational research techniques to optimize on the uh, production process with the given constraints on the resources time and budget so these are some of the uh, case studies you can try out in the supply chain industry no matter which industry you are working uh, with uh, supply chain is involved in many industry and you can collect data and try to solve these problems uh, in your work domain uh, to solve many important problems in the supply chain supply chain is a pretty uh, new uh, area of analytics actually it hasn't been there for a long time uh, well except maybe in the manufacturing industry but now it is uh, so important in all kinds of industry uh, be it e-commerce, be it um, travel, tourism, all kinds of industry, this is so important uh, 